Ireland. A patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Azar, how is it that Barith, as Norse as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Hard to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who's he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly he is loved by his people. Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Barith. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on Thrusta's cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sifrith. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Barry. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Barith. <laughs> 